I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, I'm Janet Miranda and we are here with News Entertainment at this awesome theater. What is your name? Uh, my name is Matthew Hill. Um, I'm a filmmaker from uh, Cambridge, Amazing. Uh, UK. UK, yeah. in the house, yes. Yes. Yes, okay, and you are? Uh, my name is Paulina Leon and I'm from Sweden originally, but I live in London, so yeah. I love the way you say your name once again. Paulina Leon. Paulina. No, it's Paulina. Paulina Leon. Paulina. It's like yeah. music in my tongue. Thank it's you. It's so good. Oh, and I'm Austin. Austin Hill. I'm his older brother, who happens to live in and also lives in Cambridge as well. And you helped him on the film. Well, no. you know, I, well I just held a camera. I just, to no, put it bluntly. They're both really talented. Sort of, um, both to put really it bluntly. Just sort of goes wherever I go. So yeah. <laughs> oh, he just yeah. held the camera, guys. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. that's it. you. So you di you were the DP. Yep, that's me. E camera guy. Okay, there you go. Listen, guys, we have such incredible talent here today. I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about your film, but I just have to say the fact that you guys are like the new filmmakers of the world. Yeah. What, what are you guys envisioning for film in like the next 40 years? I just have to hear it from millennials. First of all, equality. That's a major thing. Yeah. Women in film, please. I mean, yeah. guys, yeah. you're great. Yeah. <laughs> but also, we gotta do yeah. Fist bump. also women, yeah. That's, yeah. that's my ambition of it a lot, I think. Women filmmakers and will, yeah, just more women in general. So, Paulina, yeah. are you also a filmmaker? I'm not. I really want to be, though, maybe. I mean, yeah. So, if, what if they was... will have me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, what was we are, your. We are cutting ties now. <laughs> yes. So, what was your connection to this film? No, I mean, I was the actor in the film. Uh, but, I mean,. Yeah. Sadly, the other actors couldn't be here today. The main actress, but I was in it as yeah, well. Yeah, Ro Rosie couldn't be Rosie here today. Rosie Fracker. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she's brilliant, um, but she's not here, unfortunately. Um, and, and can you tell us a little bit about your part in the film? So I'm the I'm the I'm the girl who dies. So yeah, um, <laughs> set out yeah, in no, the film. Very, yeah, is this a horror film? It's a very comedic movie. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a comedy. A comedy? Yeah. It's not a comedy. Oh, comedy. That's just, yeah, <laughs> just joking. He's yeah. just joking. Yeah. yeah. So no, it starts us in this dystopian place where maybe you should pick the story though about the yeah, film. I'll, I'll go, pitch go story. Around. It's sort yeah. of um, <laughs> sort of like po post apocalyptic. Wait, wait. We can't so. give it away, guys. Oh, so okay. they're gonna have to oh, watch cool. it. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna have to watch it. But yeah. thank you for like even putting the effort in. But before we get there, so you're the DP, you're the actress, and you're like the yeah. the I'm, mastermind I'm the who, behind I'm, this I'm the production. Guy who's put these all into trouble. Mm. <laughs> nice. So, so, Organize so, this chaos. What did you think about when you were creating this? What inspired you to make it? Um, what inspired me to make it? Um, just various other films, so um, things like Mad Max and A Quiet Place and things like that. A few video games like Fallout and things like that. Because I, I just wanted to make a movie that was very exciting, you know, very thrilling. Um, you know, had a beginning, middle and end and it's all about how to tell a story in a short span of time. Wow. Which in this one it was eight minutes long so amazing you know, yeah and the fact that it was here and got into LA is a pretty good deal I, I oh my say. god so how did you feel as a filmmaker when you got accepted to be screened here 
Yeah, I was pretty pretty chuffed by it. It was um, quite exciting. Um, the next thing I thought of was I need to book tickets to come here, you know. And you made it but, happen all the way from the UK. Yeah, made it happen. Yeah, I have to ask good. you, like you're such a young filmmaker. Yeah. What, like, what inspired you to get into film, and when did you get into film? Um, I, I started doing films like when I was like seven and uh, I started making like Lego movies and things like that. <laughs> Basically anything I could find and then I sort of upgraded to uh, using my friends, you know, dragging them in, making films and, you know, coming up with an idea on the spot and, you know, just making just, you know, films that are very out there and, you know, so I kind of like sp tried to span all the genres so I tried to, when I was at school I tried to make like a crime film and then I <laughs> tried to make like sort of the science fiction ones, they're, they're all a bit amateurish at now but you know I kind of look back at it like really fondly so I you mean know. amazing that you, I mean everyone have, needs to have a start so yeah, yeah everyone needs a start and you have vision yeah I mean as yeah. a visionaire at such a young age really yeah. developing not just a film but a film that's getting screened at yeah, Hollywood definitely, yeah. I mean totally like is this one of your dreams? Did one of your dreams come true here? Yeah, I think one of them definitely came true. I mean, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm here, so it's so, you know, it's, yeah, so we made not, it here, not so it's only great. did you make it, I mean, you made it to Hollywood as a filmmaker at yeah. such a like, I mean, wow. I yeah. I really just have to say that must be it must feel like an amazing you know amazing thing that you did. Yeah, I know it's it's crazy, you know, to even think about it. And, is it kind uh, of surreal? Yeah, it's very sort of surreal at the moment because it's sort of. I don't even know where I am at the moment. That's how surreal it is. You feel so like you're today. I'm just, just I'm, I'm just speaking words and stuff. You know, I, I don't even know what I'm thinking of. So it's just, it's just. So, really... as someone who's manifested this for yourself into existence, can yeah. you tell a little bit? Like, can you give some tips to folks out there who also want to be filmmakers at a young age that are starting out in high school into film school? Yeah, definitely. Um, no pressure, man. I, I think that. Um, <laughs> The one thing I would say to young filmmakers out there is if you've got an idea, just go for it. Um, even if it's the stupidest, silliest idea. You know, I started off making really stupid movies um, and um, it sort of escalated from there. <laughs> so I would just say, you know, follow what you believe in. Um, don't take no for an answer. Um, if anyone tries to put you down, you know, you gotta, you, you got to rise up to it. You know, and also just get your friends together, just make a film, you know, just do that really. So that, that's pretty much my advice. With that being said, this is News Entertainment. I'm Janet Miranda. Stay tuned. If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.